Hi. Um, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate um, my program called PIC to ASCII. Um, I made this program a long time ago, and I sort of forgot about it. Um, but basically what it does is, and it's pretty cool, basically what it does is it converts um, a picture into ASCII art. If you've never heard of ASCII art, um, basically what it is is it's a um, it's a form of text um, that when you make it small enough looks like a picture. So basically it's um, it's a picture made up of different colored um, words and uh, characters on the screen. And so my program here called pic 2 ASCII um, allows you to take an image and convert it into that. Um, there are programs on the internet that you can use to do this. Um, you can just search it on Google and they do it too. Um, but I like mine better. <laughs> just because um, it has um, full color support. It doesn't use HTML. It doesn't use the internet at all. It's all a self-standing, uh, standalone program. Uh, I wrote it in VB6 about a year ago. Um, it uses a few um, OCX controls, um, but it uh, should be um, installed by default on Windows XP and so on, uh, so you don't have to uh, install any OCXs. Um, so I'll just show you, show you how it works. Um, so here it is. Uh, it starts out um, with a picture of Cartman right here, because <laughs> I like South Park. But anyway... So it starts out with that, and you can see down in this black area over here, that's where the uh, text is outputted to. Um, so, in order to use this program, uh, the first thing you need to do is click on the change characters thing. It'll tell you, because if you go to convert, it'll say you need to first select your color associations. Press the change color uh, characters button on the right panel. Um, so we click this. And inside of here, um, you ha it tells you everything about what all this is. I was really bored, so I added a lot of description to this. Um, so you can choose colored text or black and white. I'll leave it as colored. Um, and then right here, you have your threshold. And you can read here that the threshold changes the sensitivity of the program's color detection. So basically what this does is... Um, if you, I usually inc increase this to about 20. Basically, what that does is it it'll read a color such as red, like on Cartman's red sweater right here. And when it reads the red, it'll assign a certain character that you specify down here in this box to the red. So if you want to make the red A, you can just do that using uh, add or whatever down here. Um, but what this threshold does, uh, plus or minus 24, means that um, that color of red, plus or minus 24, it will still assign that letter to it if it's um, 23 off or 22 off from that color. So that's how, how this threshold thing works. And so it's kind of nicer uh, than the online ones because the online ones seem to not do that as well where they assign a threshold to a color instead of a specific color because what happens is in a image you might have a varying um, amount of red like it might be a little darker red over here and a little brighter red over there and it'll only do the brighter red because that's the the value that you selected but with this threshold it allows you to allow it to um, sort of do um, a varying range of the red colors or whatever color you choose. Anyway, um, down here you have save and load, um, which is the part where you can save and load um, character settings so you don't have to reprogram them every time. So if I go to load, you can see I already have one saved here for this specific image. And when I load it, you can see I already assigned certain characters to certain colors. So I assigned um, the yellow color right here to Y, um, this sort of cyan to B, and, you, and so on. You can see that. 
and um, also when you load uh, it also loads a threshold too and you can see that I've uh, set the threshold to 21 um, so yeah you can save and load um, uh, character settings in this box which makes it nice because you can sort of have your own template um, for different images and stuff so now that I have had I have this loaded here I just press the OK up up here and now the uh, characters are set um, so now all I have to do is press convert and you'll see it create ASCII art or ASCII or whatever you call it so I press that um, you can see it's changing it's going through all the stuff and it'll change and it'll say done right here and I press OK and now I'll just drag this down a little and you can see that it has converted the image right down here um, so if you want to look at it you can ju just do a full screen right here press the full screen button and now it's kinda hard to see because this is not a full screen uh, recorder um, but if I move this around you can see that I have a full image of Cartman right here um, in ASCII and so yeah that's pretty much what this program does um, it's one of my more official programs like I tried to make it as I don't know as professional looking as possible most of the time um, when I make a program I do it fairly quickly and I don't add description and manuals and stuff like that but this one is fully like implemented you have everything it explains exactly what it does um, right here under the settings you can click load picture or paste um, so if you click load picture uh, it gives a little open file dialog box um, you select the picture that you want so you can do something other than Cartman <laughs> and um, you can press paste if you have a picture in your uh, clipboard after you copy it from like a website or whatever um, then you see down here we have the convert button which I've already used to convert I have the clear which when I press it boom um, now it's all gone so uh, when you load a different image you press clear and then you press convert again um, d over here you have a copy um, button when you press copy uh, it says do you want to copy plain text or copy formatted uh, basically what that does is if you copy plain text it's uh, just black and white so you can copy and paste it into notepad or onto a website or something like that that doesn't support color and formatting but if you're in a certain program that supports color and formatting like Microsoft Word or maybe a certain website you can go and change it to copy formatted text uh, which then copies it with all the colors and everything assigned to it and then there's a save button and you can save plain or formatted text so it just saves it to either a text file or an RTF file um, and RTFs are openable with WordPad which is with uh, comes with Windows or with Microsoft Word um, and then the full screen button which I just showed you uh, shows the preview of the full converted thing full screen um, uh, so I think that's about it I mean there's a few settings here like um, X pixel skip and Y pixel skip basically what that does is it just skips a certain number of pixels so what it does is it steps through each pixel in the image and converts it to a character if these were both set to one this converted text would be way too large so that's why you have these settings um, in order to change the size of the text pretty much if you make it too large though it obviously won't be detailed enough um, and then you have the zoom which uh, it just increases the font size I can convert it again and show you what that does it's converting And I don't know why it does that weird jumping thing that it's doing right now, but I don't know. It's working. <laughs> so just wait until it's done. And then I'll just show you what the zoom does. And the, f the font button you can see right here just changes the font that's used in the um, 
ask AR. And the color just uh, changes the color if you were using um, black and white text. It would just change it to a different color, all one color, instead of multicolored like this. And that's about it. So it's done right now. Um, so now I'll just show you when I zoom. It just increases the size of the font pretty much. So now the font is larger. See? It's kind of, I can't fit the whole thing on the screen because it's too large. But uh, you can sort of see what I mean. So yeah, this is my program. Um, I'm probably going to put it up for free download. Uh, just because it's something I did a long time ago, I don't really care. Um, I might also include the source just in case you wanted to add to it or do whatever. If you have VB6, you can add your own stuff to this program. Um, so if I have the time, I'll add a link in the description to a um, place where you can download the source code as well as the binary of the program. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you like this program. I hope you, well, don't find it useful, but you find it somewhat interesting. Um, so, thanks for watching my videos, and subscribe to me. Thanks.